Yeah, cool. Agnosia is the inability to recognize objects that is not associated to any sensory or intellectual impairment. Or in other words, your normal senses are working properly, but the connections in the brain that label and categorize objects or colors is not working, making it difficult to recognize what is being observed in detail. There are many different types of agnosia. Here we will be discussing visual agnosia. Visual agnosia itself has various subcategories such as movement agnosia, which interferes with recognition of movement, object agnosia, and color agnosia, which are associated with objects and color respectively. Okay. The inability to recognize faces is called prosopagnosia. Most prosopagnosics can recognize that a face is a face, but they have difficulty recognizing whose face it is. For example, a patient may live with his or her mother and spend all their time with her butt, as soon as she walks in, she walks out and back into the room, the patient will not be able to recognize who that person is. Although visual agnosia can be genetic disorder, there is also evidence that it can be caused by brain damage. Each particular type of agnosia is thought to be related to a damaged part of the secondary visual cortex. The part that may be damaged would determine what type of agnosia the person has. For example, if the part that is responsible for recognizing that a red circular bouncy thing is a ball is damaged, then the patient will have object ag agnosia. The study attempts to expand on the concept of prosopagnosia to determine if they can see faces, although they might not be able to recognize them. Past studies show that people with prosopagnosia spend less time looking at famous faces rather than novel faces, suggesting that less information is needed to process the face. By relating novel versus famous faces, the skin conductance response, they attempt to determine if they are able to recognize facial images while not able to process who they are. The study showed no significant difference between skin conductance response between novel and famous faces. However, there was a difference for familiar faces. This supports the idea that there might be a problem with the connection to, face, to the face recognition units person identity nodes, and semantic information units in the brain, allowing people to see and familiarize themselves with faces but are unable to comprehend them.